So for the management of severe dry eyes, we tend to use a step ladder approach to treatment. So most patients, usually by the time they've come to see us, will have had um, lubricant drops, either drops, gels or ointments, uh, many of which can be bought over the counter. Um, and then really beyond that, what we're managing is if disease still isn't stable, we then start talking about using anti-inflammatory drops. These are um, a short course of steroids with or without cyclosporin drops and they're anti-inflammatories for the eye. And they've currently, uh, they're currently licensed within Europe um, for use and that's the first time really that we've had a licensable cyclosporin drop. Uh, this side of the Atlantic for, for decades. Um, but that's now licensed and NICE approved. Um, once we go beyond the inflammation, because inflammation is a key part of severe dry eye, we then uh, consider um, doing some form of uh, technical process where we either plug the tear duct so that the tears and the drops that go into the eye don't go into the back of the nose. There is a connection between the lower and upper eyelids and the back of the nose, which is why when we cry or peel onions we get a runny nose as well. So we block that. Um, pathway and so any tears that are produced or drops that are used stay on the surface of the eye for longer um, and uh, if those still don't work and we usually give that a trial period of about three months for us to know what the optimal treatment is. It takes cyclosporin about six to eight weeks to start having its effect. We then are really considering systemic treatment, so tablets of some sort, and uh, in a small subgroup of patients, especially with Sjögren syndrome, which is where you get quite severe dry eye, we will use uh, pilocarpin tablets, and that increases the tear production. Um, can also help the uh, dryness of the mouth, which is also a coexisting feature of the disease. Um, if uh, if the plugs then work, and they've worked for a period of time, we would then go off and permanently close off the tear ducts. Um, if still the eyes are dry, we will then use some form of blood product, so we can get serum drops. So you can either get them from yourself or from someone else who's donated blood, and we get those from a blood bank, um, so they've been screened for infections. And from that blood product, we will then uh, get the golden colored part of the blood, and that's used as an eye drop. And it works very effectively in severe forms of dry eye, where you have, for example, uh, in diseases such as graft versus host disease, where you've had a bone marrow transplant, Stevens-Johnson syndrome, where you've had a reaction to some drug or virus, and uh, other inflammatory eye diseases.